Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to solve third set of DILR section CAT 2022 slot 3. First of all, try this set by yourself, take the screenshot and then come back to this explanation video. So now uh, let's start solving this set. Uh, there are only four neighborhoods in a city. Let's call those four neighborhoods as L, T, P and K. During the onset of a pandemic, the number of new cases of a disease in each of these neighborhoods was recorded over a period of five days. On each day, the number of new cases recorded in any neighborhood was either zero or one or two or three. And along with this, following facts are known. So if you read these six statements, what you come to know is we need to make a table like this. Let me show you. We need to make a table like this. So uh, which data we know already? The number of new cases on each day. Number of new cases on each day in each locality is either 0 or 1 or 2 or 3. So now uh, let me copy statements over here. So first of all, let's have a look at statement number one and statement number two. Statement number one says that there was at least one new case in every neighborhood on day one. So on day one, there on day one, the sum is going to be at least one, two, three, four. Sum is going to be at least four. Sum is going to be greater than or equal to four. And over here, zero will not come. There is no any neighborhood in which zero new cases were recorded after that second statement says that on each of the five days there were more new cases in k than in p so now the next statement is says that on each day the number of new cases in k is more than the number of new cases in p there were more new cases in K than in P. On each day, K is greater than P. After that, let's have a look at it. The next. The next is, let me copy the next statements. Let's have a look at statement number three and four. Statement number three says that the number of new cases in the city in a day kept increasing during the five day period. The number of new cases on day three was exactly one more than that of day two. If the number of cases on day two is x, then the number of new cases on day three is going to be x plus one. And the total is increasing. The first part of third statement says that the number of new cases in a day kept increasing over these five day period. The total number of new cases means the total cases of D1 is less than total cases of D2 is less than total cases of D3 is less than total cases of D4 is less than total cases of D5. Statement number four says that the maximum number of new cases in a day in P was two. In this, in the row of P, the maximum is two. And that happened only once. That happened only once. Uh, means other observations are going to be either one or zero. Other observations are going to be either one or zero over here means over here 3 will not come. So over here we done with statement number 3 and statement number 4. Now statement number 5 says that K is the only place to have 3 new cases on day 2. On day 2 K is having 3 new cases and at all other places the number of new cases is not going to be 3. Then after that the total number of new cases in locality L, T, 
P and K. In L, the total is 12. In T, total is 12. In P, the total is 5. And over here, the total is 14. So over here, we're done with all these step pins. So now let's concentrate on this part. So over here, the addition 5, how the addition is 5 formed? Where 2 is going to come only once, 2 is going to be only once and only 1 and 0 we can use, we need addition of 5. So it is going to be 2 comma 1 comma 1 comma 1 comma 0. So in the row of P, in the row of neighborhood P, the 5 numbers are going to be 2, 1, 1, 0. But it is in which order, we don't know. After that. After that, so what I will do is, I will delete this much part over here. So we got the 5 observation for the locality P. So now the total number of new cases during this 5 day period is how much? 12 plus 12 plus 14 plus 5. That is equal to how much? 36. 38 plus 5 is 43. This addition is going to be 43. And these are the increasing total of d1, d2, d3, d4 and d5 is in increasing order. So over here you can see that how the addition 14 is formed. The maximum addition is going to be 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 3 that is equal to how much? 15. But we want addition to be 14. It means 1 among these 5 observation is 2. So this is how the addition 14 can be formed. After this, how the addition of 12 can be formed? Let's have a look at it by using 0, 1, 2, 3. Total 5 numbers, the sum is supposed to be 12. So 12 is going to be, it can be either 3, 3, 3, 3, 3, 0. It can be 3, 3, 3, 2, 1. Or it can be 3, 3, 2, 2, 2. These are the three ways in which the addition 12 can be formed. So now, after this, after this, you can see that the total number of new cases on day one is going to be how much? It is going to be minimum one, 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 one. That is equal to how much? Minimum four. But you can see that, you can see that in the row of K, one cannot come. So over here, the minimum, this has to be minimum, this has to be two minimum this has to be 2. So from this we can see that the total of day 1 is going to be greater than or equal to 4. No, it is going to be greater than or equal to 5. So now over here. So now the sum of these 5 terms is going to be 43. The maximum number of cases on day 5 is going to be how much? Let's have a look at it. The maximum number of cases on day 5 is going to be it is going to be 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus that no it is going to be 3 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 that is equal to how much 11 is the maximum number of cases because 3 can come here 3 can come here 3 can come here but 3 cannot come over here the maximum value this place can take is 2 so in this case the total number of cases on day 5 is going to be 11 the maximum possible number of cases on D5 is going to be 11. If D5 is 11, the maximum value D4 can take is 10. The maximum value D3 can take is 9. The maximum value D2 can take is 8. Over here, if we check this addition, this addition is equal to 38. And 43 minus 38 is equal to how much? 5. Now you can see that the total number of cases on D1 cannot be less than 5. And this is the only possible case. For example, if we try to make this 6, then we will not be able to satisfy this condition. So over here, the only possible case for total number of new cases on these 5 days is 5, 8, 9, 10 and 11. So the total of day 1 is 5, total of day 2 is 8, total of day 3 is 9, day 4 is 10 and day 5 is 11. So over here you can see that this case is satisfied over here. Then after this. 
so for day one the sum is five so the only possible combination is one is over here one is over here two is here and one is here this is the only combination for five because zero cannot come in the column of day one then after that so now you can complete the row of k the row of k becomes 2 3 3 3 and 3 then after that after that over here one of the observation is 1 so the total 12 is going to be in this case now you can see that 3 cannot come over here so the only possibility is 2 and 2 and the remaining observations are supposed to be 3 3 3 3 3 and 3 so over here sum is supposed to be 9 so this place will become 0 over here sum is supposed to be 10 so this place will be 1 this place will be 2 and over here the sum will become how much 7 and this place will become 1 so this is how we can complete this table so now let's have a look at questions Question number 11 is What best can be concluded about total number of new cases in the city on day 2? On day 2 the total number of new cases are exactly 8. Then Question number 12 What best can be concluded about the number of new cases in L on day 3 that is 3 exactly 3 question number 13 on which day or days did P not have any new cases on day 3 locality P is not having any new case question number 14 Question number 14 says that statement A there are two new cases in T on day 3. T day 3 there are two new cases first statement is false. Second statement there were no new cases in P on day 2. P day 2 there is no new cases. Second statement is also false. So which statements are false both statement A and B are false. Question number 15. On how many days did L and T have the same number of cases? L and T have same number of cases. You can see that on all 5 days L and T are going to have same number of cases over here. 